This is the News Channel 5 Network. Hi, everybody. Here's what's happening. The Fraternal Order of Police has launched a campaign in support of decommissioned Metro Officer Andrew Delkey. Delkey is charged with first-degree murder in the death of Daniel Hambrick. FOP leaders say the campaign will, quote, highlight the undisputed fact that Daniel Hambrick was carrying a loaded semi-automatic weapon in his hand. Hambrick's family's attorney issued a statement saying the campaign is nothing more than a desperate attempt to poison the minds of potential jurors. A teen fugitive police say shot another teen in the head is behind bars tonight. Diego Torres allegedly led police on a chase in a stolen car through South Nashville and Hermitage this afternoon. Officers used spike strips on Antioch Pike to get the 17-year-old to stop. Police found a gun in that car. Investigators think a driver accused of killing a construction worker might have been high when it happened. Police say Justin Clark failed to shift lanes in a construction zone up in Clarksville and hit a patrol car, a scissor lift, and a boom lift. This happened back in October. Three people were seriously, seriously hurt. One was killed. Detectives say Clark did have THC in his blood. That is an active ingredient in marijuana. TDOT working to make sure your commute tomorrow safe as winter weather moves in. Today, crews brine the interstates. They say because there isn't too much rain expected, brining should be effective in most spots. As soon as any rain stops, they will start salting the roads if needed. Once the snow stops, they'll start clearing the streets right away. They hope to clear the roads before it gets too cold and water or snow starts to freeze. And indeed, that's likely to happen. Here is Bree with the frigid forecast. Unfortunately, all of us heading into very cold weather. <clears throat> Some good news, though, for folks that don't like snow. Not so good news for snow lovers. The accumulating snowfall is looking a little less likely along Interstate 65 during the overnight hours. The moisture is just outrunning the cold air. It's not quite catching up in time. We do still expect that to not be the case, though, for our higher elevations. Folks in the plateau, winter weather advisory remains in effect for them. Uh, starting at midnight, it goes through 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. As that cold air does catch up during the 1, 2, 3 a.m. time frame, we will briefly transition to snow. Quick hitter, it's gone by daybreak on Tuesday, but on the back side of it, temperatures in the 20s, wind chills down in the single digits. And once we drop below freezing, we don't look to rise above it until Thursday afternoon. So there will be a continued concern for refreezing, especially patchy black ice on elevated surfaces overnight Tuesday into Wednesday and again Wednesday into Thursday.